Hello my dear students and listeners out there. I hope each and everybody are doing great and in optimum health with the grace of Almighty. And this class is all about the plant tissues. Uh, I already uh, drawn some fragmentations and divisions of these tissues which is already discussed in your book. So those are students of English versions and English medium. Uh, you know that the understanding of tissues in case of plant tissues and animal tissues are very important. So I decided to upload a series of lectures on tissues especially in plant tissues and in animal tissues in a separate way so that it is easily understandable and uh, give you some idea what to think next because we need to understand how the organ systems is developed and how it performs because in case of unicellular and multicellular organisms some metabolic process and some functions like growth reproductions digestions excretions are done in one cell in case of unicellular organisms but in case of multicellular there is a group of cells which has some sort of different and individualized activity and these activities performed by a group of tissues a bunch of tissues a bunch of cells and these aggregations of cells are called tissues and this class is all about the plant tissues and after that i shall explain these tissues structures and figures later on and also i shall explain about the animal tissues because there are four types of animal tissues and these tissues will be explained later so this is plant tissues and in case of definition of tissue we know the aggregation of tissue which is looks alike or even uh, can be created from same source or different source and perform a single or typical functions this is called tissue in case of plant tissue we we know that this is usually divided into two big categories the based on cell divisions number one meristematic tissues and number two permanent tissues in case of meristematic tissues it means those tissues are not capable of cell divisions so those tissues are not capable of cell divisions they are permanent tissues but those tissues are capable of cell divisions these are called the meristematic tissue so the meristematic tissues cells are some sort of cells those have the ability of cell division and the growth of the cells and that's why the meristematic tissues has four different categories which is not actually explained in ssc level but you'll have the same thing in a broader aspect in hsc level or even a level so i only wrote some titles because inside each and every single types there are three types of uh, metastatic tissues number one the based on the positions there are three based on the source there are three based on the functions there are also three and based on the cell divisions there are also three so at most 12 type of metastatic tissues are there but in ssc level most explanation goes through the permanent tissues those are not capable of cell divisions so in case of understanding the permanent tissues we know that there are three types of permanent tissues number one the simple tissues number two the complex tissues and number three the excretory tissues so we know those tissue cells are not capable of cell divisions they are called I mean these are called the permanent tissues and permanent tissues are three types simple what is the meaning of simple tissues these tissue cells size and shape looks alike and they are actually three types if you see so pictures which is drawn on your papers or in books it might not be the same that I have right now this is actually the parenchyma this is the colenchyma and this is the sclerenchyma so we, we can see there are some similarities in case of size of the tissues and size of the cells which is looks alike and that's why this is called the simple tissues and I am thinking to upload a series of class based on these tissues explanation right now I only describe I only explain what are the types of tissues so in case of plant tissues in case of permanent tissues we have three types simple tissues there are three types simple the permanent tissues itself has three parts simple 
complex and excretory. Oh, I just got it. Excretory. And the definition of simple tissues are those tissue cells that look alike. And they are actually three types. Number one, parenchyma. Number two, colenchyma. And number three, sclerenchyma. So the explanation of parenchyma, colenchyma, and sclerenchyma, I'll, I shall upload another video on explaining these things because there are some lines and explanations that will come on your exam and so that you need to know more about the parenchyma, colenchyma, and sclerenchyma. There are some words like erenchyma and there are some words like chlorenchyma. Like those simple tissues, like those parenchyma, those have the chloroform, I mean chlorophyll inside, these are called the chlorenchyma and those have, have some sort of air chambers inside, they're called the erenchyma. So parenchyma, colenchyma, and sclerenchyma are the types of simple tissue. In case of complex tissue, it's again two different types. One is xylem and phloem. The definition of complex tissue are those are not from the similar types of cells. So they will form like different types of cells and that will form the complex tissues. And these complex tissues are two types. Number one, xylem and number two, phloem. And you must know that this xylem and this phloem these are actually the transporting foods, minerals and salts from here and there. And that's why they are called the transporting tissues. The transporting, the transporting tissues of the vascular bundle. So the vascular bundle system is actually those tissues are responsible for transporting foods and minerals from the ground to the leaf and from leaf to the grounds. So these transportations is going through through the help of xylem and phloem. And again, in xylem, there are two types of xylem, primary and secondary. And then we'll have a metaxylem and protoxylem on the explanations. I only wrote the types of tissues and cells in the xylem. And we have four types of cells like tracheids, vessels, xylem fiber, and xylem parenchyma. And in case of phloem, we have again four types of cells, which is sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem fiber, and phloem parenchyma. So we need to remember these words in case of answering questions on your exam paper, because there are two types of things that we need to understand first, and we need to memorize things to know that yeah, what is going on, and what are the parts of the different tissues, and then you see, in case of phloem, we have four types. The sieve cells, the companion cells, the phloem fiber, and phloem parenchyma. And last of all, there are again one part, which is rest is called excretory cells. And these tissues, by excretory tissues, which is um, secrets like resin, some sort of liquids, resins like gum-like substance. And there are two types, latex and glands. So latex and glands, both cells secretes and based on that secretion, the naming of the tissues goes on like the excretory tissues. So in short, if I say, in case of understanding the plant tissues, we have two different types. Number one, meristematic, those who are capable of cell divisions. Number two, permanent, those are not capable of cell divisions. In case of Meristematic tissue, we have four types, but it's not yet discussed. I shall discuss it on the HSC level biology, but there are total 12 types of meristematic tissue. In case of prominent, there are three types, like simple tissues, complex tissues, and secretory or excretory tissues. In case of simple tissues, we have parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma. In case of complex tissues, we have two types phloem and xylem. So xylem and phloem both are the part of the transporting tissues because it's a part of vascular bundle. And xylem tissues again have four different types which is tracheid, vessels, xylem fiber, xylem parenchyma. In case of phloem we have sieve cells, companion cells, phloem fiber, phloem parenchyma. And in case of excretory cells we have latex cells and gland cells. So it's all about a very simple a class and a very short class about plant tissues. I shall explain these 
descriptive way on the following classes because those who will study more about it and need to know a lot about it they look at this class so stay close and stay blessed with me and definitely do let me know what is the requirement take care Allah Hafiz